can you tell which bear brick is real and fake? Today we're going to be talking about six different things that I've noticed that you can personally check yourself to make sure that you're getting a real bear brick. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to look at is the quality of the materials that the bear is made out of. This is the, the real one here and it's a very, if you listen right now, it's a very hard plastic. It's not like moldable. It's not, you can't push in the stomach. You can't push in anything very hard plastic. So that is the first thing to look for. I know some of the fakes have really soft plastic where you can like put in the face. Maybe I'll put a screenshot here on what it may look like. So just look out for that. This fake one here is actually pretty good. It has that hard plastic still. Can't put in the face or anything like that. So this fake would get a pass for in terms of quality and the type of plastic that they're using. So, uh, you know, kudos to whoever made this. The second thing that you wanna look out for is the, there's usually like a Medicom stamp on the right foot of the bear and then um, it says bear brick on the left foot. Maybe I'll do some B-roll just to compare, but you can kind of see it there and you can kind of see it on that one as well. When you compare the two, they look very similar off the bat but I will say that the real one, you can see the letters very clearly. It says Medicom toy, whereas the fake one here looks a little bit more jumbled. You can't really read it out. You really have to like look at it to read it. They're more squeezed together. And then the bare brick stamp is a lot deeper as well. And it's just not as clean as what you see on the real one here. So just look out for those two things as well. The next thing that you want to look out for is the general shape of the bear. This is very, very subtle and I don't think a lot of people will be able to tell unless you have two side by side. So as you can see the ears, so the ears on this fake one here are a lot more pointier than the one on the real one. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's just a little bit more, not as curved here on the edges, whereas this is pretty round. I do find that the noses are a little bit different as well. The one on the fake one is, is bigger. Uh, the cheeks are a little bit more fatter on the fake one. The bellies to me look pretty similar. The hands, the hands look pretty similar as well. Legs are pretty good on this, uh, on this bear. And even the back of the head, it's a little bit more rounder on the real one in my opinion. So that's another thing just to look out for. But I think if you just had a fake one on the shelf, a lot of people probably wouldn't know, to be honest. And if you're okay with that, then, you know, that's up to you. I did read up on some fake ones having, so you see the holes here, the fake ones would have holes here and just not have the stamps at all. So that is a, another thing to look out for. Fortunately, the one that I bought has the actual stamps on it but it does look a little different from the real version as well so that's another thing that you should look out for the box usually is a very big giveaway i actually didn't get a box with this one because if you wanted the box it costed like 10 or 15 dollars more than just getting it wrapped up i'll show you how this one came wrapped up this the fake one came wrapped up in this styrofoam here with a lot of packaging and then taped really really well so in my opinion like spending 10 or 15 bucks for a fake item and getting the box to me is not really worth it but usually the boxes are a really big giveaway in terms of it being fake because I think it's really hard to copy it exactly without getting 
in a lot of trouble i think for companies so the boxes usually for the real ones are made really really well so that is something to look out for if you are meeting someone to purchase something just look at the box make sure the trademarks usually there's trademarks on the boxes kind of similar to uh, that there because usually bare bricks are in collaboration with other companies so they'll always have the trademark logo on there for whoever they are collaborating with. So make sure you check the box when you are purchasing these things. The last thing is just looking at the print. I know for some of these more abstract looking ones, they're kind of just random and not placed in a certain order. I know some of them are even like water uh, dyed or dipped. So that's probably why there's no uh, pattern for every single one. They're just random and unique. So it was really hard for me when I checked online if the print was a little bit different. It looks exactly the same in my opinion as uh, the ones that I did see online. I'll throw a picture in right now so you can kind of see it side by side. But to me, it looks pretty good in terms of, you know, if the print is where it's supposed to be. It's hard to tell because I think each bare brick they make like this is pretty unique. Even the Elvis one looks different in all the photos. So it's not really something that you can compare to other bear bricks. Maybe if the more plain ones where you're getting one that's like a Snoopy one or like just a very generic one and not like an abstract print one like this, it may be easier to tell in person. But um, yeah, you know, it's something to just look out for if you are thinking. I am turning the joints here just to see pretty easy to turn the legs are quite loud let's try this one so this one's not as easy it's a little sticky as you can see the arms are not as quiet as this one's a little bit more rigid the legs are kind of the same the body t twists a little bit let's see this one pretty easy so not really something that you can tell in terms of the movements but I think this is a pretty good fake in my opinion I think it checks off a lot of the boxes again if you saw this on a shelf in someone's house you probably wouldn't know that it's fake unless you're really really comparing the details like kind of the medicom on the feet and just comparing the like shape side by side and if you're not a bear brick collector like you probably would never know so i mean buying a fake is totally up to you it's a lot cheaper i will say and i was okay with getting a fake for this one i wanted to see what it was like and also i really really like this banksy print just in general not on bear bricks just as an art piece in general so I really wanted this. I wasn't able to find a reasonable price, like a real version of this. So I decided to see what the fake would be like. I'm sure the shapes are kind of off on this. Like the balloons to me look kind of weird on the, on the feet there. If it will focus. They're not like round, I find. And then the back is kind of, it's all kind of all over the place. But to me, you know, it's just a piece that I really like and I love bare bricks. So I thought I would just purchase this to see how it is. Let me know if there are any other tips that you know of when purchasing a bare brick, if there's things to look out for, if you are looking for a real one, there are a lot of uh, fakes out there or replica ones, I guess you could say. And if it, that is okay with you and you know, to me, if you're not ripping anyone else off saying that it's real and you're selling it to me, that's totally up to you. And I was okay with having a fake in my collection. I think this is a pretty good fake and I will definitely be adding it to my collection. That's going to do for today's video. I hope you found it kind of helpful. I know a lot of people are into bear bricks and collecting them, but sometimes they want to purchase it and they just don't know how to determine if it's real or fake. Just be careful out there. I guess the last tip is the price will be a, another dead giveaway if you are getting something that's worth, I think this is with the 100% is worth like 
200 bucks or something like that or like two i think it came to like two yeah 200 and they're selling it for like 20 bucks or 50 bucks like i think you need to be careful if you are making sure or wanting a real version just make sure you do the homework on it a little bit because usually people who sell for really cheap are selling a fake or replica item so just keep that in mind Again, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other tips for the other viewers watching this video, then please leave it in the comment box below. I would love to see some of the other suggestions and things to look out for if you are buying this online or, or from someone else in your community. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.